Police chiefs across Metro Detroit are asking lawmakers to help them do something about the concerning number of dangerous high-speed chases that we're seeing across the area. Right. Police want stricter penalties like mandatory minimum sentences for those who lead police on those high-speed chases. Gino Vici joins us from the Warren Police Department with more on why they say this issue not only endangers officers, but also the community. I spoke to several police chiefs this week about the dangers of high-speed chases and the number of times it's happened lately. They say it's reached a breaking point. They're now calling on lawmakers to do something about it to make the penalties tougher. They say it puts too many lives in danger, as evidenced in this video I'm about to show you of a high-speed chase that began here in Warren and ended on I-94 in Detroit, and it ended with a officer having to fire a shot at a suspect. These pursuits are out of control in every city in the state of Michigan. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer says the city of Warren is averaging roughly one high-speed chase per day this year, the most recent happening yesterday. It began on 8 Mile on the Warren-Detroit border. An officer tries to make a routine traffic stop for speeding. I'm trying to understand why everybody else was flying past me and you put me over. I'm not worried about anyone else. I just want your keys. But why me? I want your keys. But the driver rolls up his window and takes off. Turn it off! Turn it off! Hey, block in front of him. He's trying to take off. This high speed chase continues down 8 Mile and turns onto Van Dyke. Several times, the suspect rams into other vehicles, including police. The chase ends all the way to 94 near Woodward in Detroit, where the suspect rams into another vehicle backs into police, and then again slams into someone else. But the driver still isn't stopping. That's when a Warren police officer fires one shot hitting the suspect and injuring him, ending the high-speed chase. Commissioner Dwyer says enough is enough. The laws need to change. It's got to be a mandatory law, and you can't keep reducing you know, this to a, a misdemeanor when it's, it's classified as a, fel a felony. We also told you about another high-speed chase this week in Farmington Hills, where this woman, Selena Martin, traveled nearly eight miles driving at speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. Chief Jeff King also says there must be mandatory penalties for fleeing police. I was looking for some kind of a higher penalty for when people, uh, suspects, use their vehicles, in this case, endangering the community to flee from police. Commissioner Dwyer says the only answer to this growing problem is mandatory jail time. Such as two to three years if you flee and elude from a uniformed officer in a fully marked car. In Warren, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.